You're watching the Bad Dice Club. All right, welcome what? everybody. Uh, we've just been having some howdy, howdy, howdy. Good old uh, superhero discussion, mostly X Men. Yeah, yeah so. they're the best part of Marvel. They are. They're pretty cool. Uh, I kind of wish I would have watched them a lot more. They definitely have like the coolest uh, opening theme music, from, like the old cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Everybody, favorite X-Men. Favorite X-Men. I always Probably thought still like Night, Nightcrawler would have been really cool. You know, I don't Nightcrawler is always my number two. Nightcrawler is, yeah. I think, also my number two. I mean, I you see my character I've had in your game for yeah. the longest time. I he was very much fashioned after Nightcrawler. <laughs> <laughs> Being able to teleport all over the place, yeah. What about you know, X Force? Uh, I always like Domino. Uh, Domino, I guess counts. She rarely shows up in X Men. She more uh, she a lot of times That's shows up. Because she in, like, is also essentially invincible, which is kind of boring for a lot of people. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so is Wolverine, I guess. Yeah, my favorite was always Gambit. I always loved Gambit. He's kind of uh he's he is partially Gambit kind of what just I base does my, what cyclops does on. with more work <laughs> <laughs> no, he has to transfer the, uh, kinetic energy to something then throw it no he converts cyclops, potential energy Daddy. into kinetic energy cyclops. listen i know how gambit works tell me how nightcrawler works what's his uh deal? nightcrawler Nightcrawler moves through like a different dimension to teleport. So he that's why he always smells like brimstone whenever he tell uh whenever he teleports from one place to another. Did he ever get stuck in that other dimension? Yes, he has gotten stuck in the other dimension. I was gonna say, like that had to have happened at some point, because yeah, that's a good episode. <laughs> uh um, he also his rules change depending on which comics you're into. That that is also true, yes. Sometimes he has to have seen the place, sometimes it has to be like Within a certain distance, like there's okay, like that's, that's my next question is how far can he go? Because yeah, there's there's a series where he just has to have been there because he always goes back to his home. Mm -hmm. Like whenever he's like feels like completely in danger, he'll just teleport back to his home because he knows that the best. But yeah, whatever mm -hmm. dimension he goes through is basically hell. It's called the oh. brimstone dimension. But yes, he has got, gotten stuck there before. Um. But yeah, I just like the idea that he teleports and then it smells like farts because I would that's how I would leave every room if I had that power. <laughs> I would just teleport to my parents' uh, kitchen and read the refrigerator and then leave. <laughs> Ro could eat anywhere and he goes to his parents' kitchen. <laughs> that, I know the food is good there, okay? <laughs> good quality yeah, ingredients. You you could my go mom, to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant in the UK. I was going to say, <laughs> first of all, high standards. I, yeah. Also, number they one, would arrest me. <laughs> do you I think you really think Nightcrawler's getting a table at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant? Do you think Gordon Ramsay could afford to turn somebody away based on their looks? I mean, if he looked like an actual demon. I guess, but isn't that the whole theme? Of X Men yes. is that you shouldn't judge people by how yes, they it obviously is, but you know there are still people that are like ah mutants. That's why the Sentinels exist. Magneto, <laughs> Magneto, Cerebro. Magneto is also one of my favorite X Men. He's a good villain. Magneto's like one of the. I would say Magneto is probably one of the, if not the greatest, comic book villain of all time. Because he's the one where you're like, I kind of get it, and you're kind of not wrong. <laughs> right. I mean, he, you do get it, and he isn't wrong. Like, it's just like, maybe his methods are wrong, but... Yeah. That's about the end of it. It's like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't treat other people like shit. <laughs> Especially when they can manipulate metal so well. 
yeah, you shouldn't treat people like shit, especially when they can, you know, murder an entire city. You know, I've always liked uh, Storm and Iceman too because they're like Omega mutants because they can't, they have like no. Storm is actually limit. not an Omega level mutant. I thought she was. I thought she had no. She's like close to it then. Yes, but like to be an Omega level mutant, you basically have to have control over like one of the fundamental forces of the universe. Oh, yeah, but okay. she can just she, like the Phoenix. I th- I thought she was. Well, Phoenix. Uh, here's she the thing: has is like I matter think manipulation. So here's, that's like crazy. I think she has been. I think it depends on who you ask. So I think she has been stated to be Omega before, and some people say she's not. Um, but if you think about it, yeah, like Iceman is because he has you know temperature control, control. Over thermal dynamics. So you know, um. Gambit could have been, but then he would have exploded the whole world. It they, they go into it in a whole comic because you know he basically controls um, kinetic energy. I'm trying to think of who some of the other ones are. My wife Magneto. asked me the other day what Doctor Doom's powers were, and I was like, "It's complicated." <laughs> yeah, that one is complicated. That's the other thing is nobody ever. Um, Goes into the fact, like, none of the movies that he's been in have ever gone into the fact that he's basically a wizard. Well, at the end of it all, his big, his best power is his intelligence. And that's why he becomes a god at one point, because he, like, scams his way into god. (laughs) His best power is that he just fucking hates Reed Richards and will do literally anything to spite that man. Right. (laughs) When we get God Doom, that's like ultimate villain status right there you're just like well now what <laughs> this yeah. guy's a literal god <laughs> yeah. yeah dr doom is but he kind of got to a point where he was just like okay i'm kind of bored now i'm done doing all this <laughs> the best part about doom is that there's no vengeance too petty for him to uh bring upon reed richards like he will go big to small he does not care why does he hate him so much? Because Reed Richards is smarter than him, and he hate and he doesn't want to admit it. Oh, okay. And That's because of Reed was. Richards' experiments, they all end up getting their powers, and Doom kind of gets shafted. And and also because Reed Richards is banging Sue Storm. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a lot of things. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's play some let's play some games. Stabby Sabs. Yeah. And Miracle Guns. Yeah. All right. Last time. On Dragon Ball Z. This is what, two, three weeks ago? I don't even know. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks. So you guys uh, covered a lot of ground. Uh, you we get our XP? Level. We got some XP. Um... Uh, Indeed, you did. And let's see here. I'm trying to remember what you guys faced. So you started heading east. Uh, you crossed over the uh, kind of balcony area. Uh, moved your way through a whole bunch of different rooms. Checked some supply rooms, a lounge area. Um, then you headed south. Uh, maybe I should put us to the map here, and I can drag the drag everyone with me as we kind of trace your guys' uh path throughout the vaults here. We've so. been so many places; it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's like crazy how much ground you've covered. I even got some spots of floor level six. One thing you did find was a fuck ton of stairs. <laughs> uh, stairs, stairs, more stairs leading down. Seems like you guys have a lot of different options for where to go down whenever you do decide to head down there. So, um, so what what you did find like throughout these hallways and such, there was like a hidden area and like a series of hallways and such that kind of enabled people to spy on some different areas here. Um, you found a very deadly <coughs> trap with some magical flying saw blades going all over oh, the room. Yeah, yeah. 
but thanks to Gamble's uh, expertise in disarming traps and magic, uh, you're able to take care of that, which is good because these things would have cut you to ribbons otherwise. So. Yeah, those things hurt like hell. They were nasty. Uh, after that, you guys came to this southern room, found more stairs. In this room, you found, uh, well, it looks to be, like, a lot of blood. Uh, as well as the blueprints to said trap room. Uh, found an alchemist lab and some tanglefoot bags. And then you headed further through the hallways, and you fought... Well, at first you walked in, you found this teleportation circle. As you move forward to try and inspect it, the bones of the room begin to swirl around and come together uh, and form this huge uh, bone gladiator-looking creature. Um, and so after a, after a tough fight, you guys were able to take it down, and uh, that is where we are. Indeed. Hey, can you yeah. do something for me real quick, Justin? Possibly. Can you take the two healer's tools out of my backpack and put them in the bag of holding on Namiad? Sure. Because I am encumbered right now, and I don't want to be that. Sure. Then can you take my dumbbells and put them into Sherman's bag again? <laughs> 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 It's a dick move, yo. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not encumbered. I am encumbered. Taking all, all sorts of requests. Yeah, no problem. I am cucumbered at the moment. Okay. I'm not quite there, but I'm getting there. I got quite a bit of room. All I can right. hold like three more, two more bulk. Was doing healer's tools? Yes. For some reason, I ended up with two sets of healer's tools, and I don't know why. So oh, weird. take both of those and put them in the bag of holding. Okay. <gasps> I am no curious. longer cucumbered. Thank you. No problem. Did you just roll an attack roll for fun? Yep. I do that all the time. Remember, I, uh, I still have lycanthropy. You are still all lichened up. So I'm just, you know, I do a couple of attacks on you guys here and there just to you remind feel you. You yet? I bark from time to time. I got a week till I turn into a werewolf. Nice. Uh, Look at all those big yeah. rolls you're making out of combat. <clears throat> um, would anybody mind trying to heal me? Because I was the only one that got kind of jacked up in that last fight. Yeah, fine. I'm pretty sure I did too. Yeah, I'm we'll try to heal myself. No, I'm gonna I... give you a little little heal in here. I think he's got a battle medicine. Are we still? We're not still in combat, are we? No. No, 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 we no, would no. not battle medicine because of... Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Treat. That's treat poison. Treat wounds. I'm Where's treat wounds? Already I had a macro using my hero point. Oh, there it is. I'm pretty sure cool. you hurt yourself. I do hurt myself. Did you I don't know. Two do I... ones? Really? In a row. Oh, yep. no! <laughs> I already used my... Hero point today. Yeah, that's to... a bad use of that. So what do I do? Do I do an unarmed strike against myself? Um, or do I just take two d8 of damage? Sherman Garrett is now immune. Treat wounds for ten the... minutes. Treat wounds. Pathfinder two e. I just dragged a thing. Did you give drag. me the twenty three points back? Critical failure, yes. target takes 1d8 damage. Okay. All right. Now, now I'll roll an eight. One. 
Well, there it is. Fucking yep. just click it. Proved me wrong. <laughs> and then damage myself. Cool. I'm half health. Uh, maybe you should have twice. Nami look at you. Yeah, I have Nami rolling that one on me. Could you imagine losing your character to bad heal checks? Uh, I almost did at one point. I know, but could you imagine getting like eight heal checks and all of them bad? Oh, oh there we go. Just <laughs> shy of a critical. Critical, yeah. That twenty-four. Well, give me the two d eight. Uh, yeah. So that's a two. Or you got eight. I got eight. <laughs> you recovered from the damage you did to yourself. Cool. <laughs> well, I will just be unhealthy. Uh, I say we wait the ten minutes and have him heal you one more time. We're not in a hurry. We could wait an hour and I could heal myself again. Maybe. Uh, treat wounds immunity says it's only ten yeah. minutes. For treat wounds, yeah. Because of Nami. It's an hour. F because of Nami. That's his power. Nami has got some serious healing uh, stuff going on. So. Yeah, Nami. Had well, I'll just fucking... have him. It'd be better for him to try to heal me six times in an hour than it would be for me to try to heal myself once in an hour. So. Yes. So throw another heal check at me. Okay. Heal, daddy. I mean. We could I get just... up to full health. We could just say an hour goes by. I'm full health. Hour goes by, yes. Bill Oyek is currently immune. There, how about now? Okay, fine, I'll remove the freaking thing, okay? There we I go. I just healed myself. <laughs> Up. All right. I just uh, think we take an since hour. Since we waited, I do believe it's, it's, it's I lose the guidance immunity as well yes anything you're doing while you guys are patching yourself up in this room for a whole freaking hour are you gonna jump on the teleport circle no i did want to no, check it out though just, <laughs> just to seem too excited uh, about that i, I wouldn't where touch it, goes? it. <laughs> wait i thought we i thought we um did checks on this last time doesn't it go does it does this one go down instead of up here, can I throw a rock on it? Does the rock disappear when I throw it on it? Here's what you do know. You've been up. And the ones you've seen so far, ones you've activated, you know exactly where they go. So um, either this is connected to those or it's not and goes down further. It, it could go to the bottom, dude. And we could I just... Think that's, uh, that's what I... Mr. Snarty Pants would hear say, like, well, logically speaking. Um... um... Can I make an Arcana if, check to see if I know where it ha it goes to? Uh, Can I throw something into it? Does it disappear? Like a I chair leg? Say, Did... I would say you don't need an Arcana check. It, just simple logic would be like, it, it's likely to go down somewhere. Okay. Um, also... Did Foundry update? It must have, because like my stuff's like red and gold for certain things, and yeah, my my um, proficiencies are all in red for some reason. Oh, I did update some modules, so oh, yeah, interesting. Yep. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to say let's not go on that one. That seems like a bad plan. Well, let's just like, there's like a door over here, and it's we've kind of been around there. So that probably goes to a small room, right? And then this one probably goes back. Oh, yeah. This one goes back? Oh, I don't well, know. One of these might, might be a well closet. This one is probably a closet. Well, here, we'll find out. I was going to say, that's the one we should try first. Boom. It's a hallway. Yet another hallway. Leads to another... Um... Looks like it leads to some internal room, actually. Yeah, it looks like it leads to like some uh, you cells. see two doors in front of you, and then at the end of the hallway, another one, another door. 
Oh, these are the cells that we've been looking at. Did Three apparently days. we couldn't see into these ones from our Oh yeah, Justin accidentally put somebody in a wall and then we could see the rooms. Uh nope, that was just this room over here. But all these oh. other ones you are able to see. As you like if you look right here, here, and here. Oh, there's like windows. And here. You see there's like little viewports you can kind of spy into different places. Uh, can so, I roll a perception yeah. check? Do I see anything fun or shiny? You see like a, a pot, a poo pot. Poo pot. There's nothing exciting. Poo pot. Nothing. Beds. That looks really broken, shitty ass beds. Well, some of them just frames, like bed frames. Um, no mattress or anything on them. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, foot lockers. A couple of foot lockers and in, in, uh, one foot locker in each one. You think there's some like nice Jordans in there? Uh, we got stairs that go downstairs. Uh, I don't More know we downstairs. Do that yeah. We're trying to level up, baby, so I don't have to. Ah, woo, werewolves. Come. Ah, woo. Okay, what's this go to? Boom. That's. I was gonna say that goes to more cells. I'm gonna guess. Oh, wait, and this. There are some more cells there. Yep. What am I looking <gasps> wait at? Wait a minute. Are these gladiator cells? Oh, that's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing what is this, this you is. There was an arena just south of here. Yeah, this is where they. I'm guessing this uh... is where they got um, gladiators ready to go fight, and then they would send them probably down this way to go into the arena. Perhaps maybe down these stairs over here. Stores locked. locked. Yep. There's only two cells here, and then a door in the middle. Um, well, I can kind of see what's in there. It's a bubble. It's like water or something. Do I? Oh yeah, we were able to see. Uh, we were able to see when we were on this side of it. What did uh, what did we see when we were looking in the viewport? Uh, those of you with dark vision would have been able to to see it. Uh, a lot of black sludge. Um, yeah, I don't think we should open that door, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah. I mean... Is it locked? It's locked. Yes, it's locked. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable. Like, if there's black sludge in there, then opening it means that you'd either get covered in black sludge or attacked by whatever's living in the black sludge and I but don't we're, like we're here to clear out the building I guess that's true but like I just don't like the idea of being like right you next just want to somebody it. moving in here and they find out six years from now about the black sludge like, if we could place a bomb next to the door and then blow it up to open the door, I would be cool with that. It's just, I don't think opening we that We should get door a deed with... for this place, and then we should flip it. Yeah. Uh -huh. You you think we could flip this place? You, you want to... Yeah. yeah, just a we could, fresh we could really paint this place. We old. could really break Justin's economy. <laughs> yeah, just a fresh cone of paint, I'm sure, is all this place is going to need. Well, if you use red, it'll cover a lot of the problem spots. <laughs> Oku's over here and like scratching on a piece of wood. Picks up the wood, brings it over the door and sets it right next to it on the floor. Just says no. <laughs> okay. I'm going I'm to listen to Oku on this one. <laughs> What, what did I, I? I was next to the door and I rolled a nat 20 perception. What do I hear with my bird ears? Does the sludge make really? sound? Does it talk? Um, no. No, it's mm -hmm. quite silent in there. All right. Well, let's leave the sludge alone. What's up here? Boom. A room with more doors. Yeah, in this my room, God. Uh, it seems to be a sitting room of some kind. Uh, there's a, a fire actually crackling. Uh, very pleasantly in a web choked fireplace on the east wall. Well, I don't like that. That's kind of concerning. Honest. I've seen uh, enough horror plays to know. 
Um, and here's this word. This word's come up before. I wasn't quite sure how to say it yet again. Uh, Devon? Is it Devon? Divon? Devon? I don't know. Devon? I don't know what that is. Devon? Is it Devon? Devon? Da, Devon. Oh. Oh, Devon. A large blah blah has been pushed up against the door to the northwest. Divan. Divan. A long, low sofa without a back or arms typically placed against a wall. Yes. Several Python. pythons pounded into the gap between the stone door and its frame, ensure that it remains shut. I always called it a divan. I'm going to forget that in like five seconds. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> if you look up how to say it, it is either divan, van, or divan. Or is that Vaughn? The it just says van. Yeah. <laughs> the the Davenport. Davenport. The that's what I would call it. That's what I would Dav call it. Davenport. That's the Midwest word for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So which one of these is like locked by uh, Piton, Pitons, Pythons? Can anybody detect magic before I walk in there? Uh, I can detect magic. I don't want to walk into a magic what? problem. Uh, if you want to step and you don't detect any magic except for that uh, circle that what about just south of you what about the fireplace is uh, there anything from where you are at your aura did not reach to the fireplace well, if he stepped forward and looked at the fireplace, I will step in. forward. I didn't and say in, but it again, that is a magical huh. fireplace. You imagine it's been probably burning for quite some time. In Terra Sunday. Hmm. Can I use my perception check from before to look at the fireplace? I feel like I wasted an at twenty. Yeah, uh, no. But you uh -huh. don't see anything uh, out of the ordinary in this room, other than the, you know, the door sealed shut. Um, Is there I a would back like to, to the fireplace? Place my ear up against the door to see if I can hear anything like breathing on the other side. Um, I have another thing to tell you about magic, though. So, uh, oh, yeah. The door stone seems to be magically enhanced, and you think like this would be difficult to smash through. Mm. Mm. Do I Which hear door? On the other side. This door. This this one. Okay. Is it locked? Okay. Interesting. Is it a wooden door or you said a stone door? It's a door. stone door and it looks stone like it's been door. reinforced. Mm. Yep, reinforced, magically sealed. So either uh, wait. So you, it up. would be impossible to get in, but what if I open this door? Maybe there's a room that like connects to it. I mean, if you want to try, I'm going to stay over here. Okay. Everybody get to where you want to be just in case. All right, I'm going to go home. <laughs> Not me, it's usually kind of Aaron would be able to see the whole as much of the room as he could without having to be anywhere near it yeah yeah okay oh Aaron would probably be like down here yeah probably because he'd want to shoot whatever comes through the door mm -hmm. and he has like 8 billion range so all right Oh, force it it's open. locked. Is it a wooden door? Or is it another stone door? Um, hmm. I would say, yeah, it's another stone door, but you think you might be able to get it open. All right. 
Let's give it a try. Muscle it up, muscle man. Can I use athletics then? That's what you have to use. Yep. Okay. Boom. Oh! 32. You burst that sucker open and you find swirling ruins carved into the stone filled with the silver cover. Okay, uh, now this the one looks... circular chamber. It's another this looks more like the, the teleportation rooms that we've been using. Mm. Indeed it does. This one's not active, though. You'd have to spend an hour trying to activate it. Mm. Well, I mean... So people would come down and visit. If you guys want to take uh take some time i'll spend an hour trying to activate this thing okay do a ritual do you want me to check Roll the other... and namid can try and assist you let me take a look at this one here it's gonna be harder and harder at least it's, that's not gonna be a critical failure so you're not gonna spawn monsters i don't think yeah not like the last time Unless it's a 36 that you need to hit. That would suck. It gets harder. It gets, the check gets harder, he said, as you go further down. It does. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, I'd say Nobby has kind of helped coach you along and stuff too on this one since he was able to activate it beforehand um but you seemed like a lot more confident even without his help as you're trying to you know uh uh you know say your different uh incantations and try and activate this part and then this part and this part and uh it does eventually begin to start glow blue below you and um hooray well, now we have some place to go in case the monster inside that closet is really bad. Yeah. We can just run oh. and teleport out of here. Hey, it's nice to see that you learn from your mistakes. Yeah, well. Shut up. <laughs> I I've never done anything wrong. I meant to summon the the ghoul because we needed to level up so, and says so the guy who always gets antsy at the wrong time <laughs> how about you open that door <laughs> i'm gonna open this door <laughs> you always <laughs> stroll in so confidently you're like empty room do, 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 do. <laughs> hallway oh no room couches is that what that is yeah, is that a so at the north and there we go activate a portal hey uh the tech magic boys do you see anything magic uh i'm not gonna be able to detect magic around these corners very well well at least straightforward do you detect anything before i walk in the room yeah at oh, the end right. of the hallway you see uh just looks like there's a lot of fungus over there. Mounds of white fungus just blossomed from what was once padded furniture in a little waiting room. Fungus. Does this fungus look dangerous? Hiya. You guys have had some bad experience with fungus before. Does an uh, eight tell me anything want... about fungus? Your I don't know if I want to walk nature. there, dude. Yes. Do I have a... how about a knowledge hazmat suit? What about what about a twenty nine? Damn. I rolled for Oku. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, Oku at, takes a peek in there, takes 20. a sniff, and, it go, and starts coughing a bit, and says, then shakes. She speaks no, to Sherman all the time. And says, you don't want to Um, there. Yeah, she speaks to Sherman uh, through, like, uh, mental means. Yeah. Um, I ask her, or I ask them, would it be okay if I, like, tie a, a handkerchief around my face? No, oh, let's see here. Yeah. I, I think Oku would tell you that that could help. 
Uh, but likely this stuff would make you sick. Okay. Uh, very sick. I, I'm going to tie a handkerchief around my face and I'm going to hold, hold my up. breath. Hold <gasps> up. Why don't we just burn it with fire? That's kind of another thing I was thinking, but as far as cantrips go, I don't have any fire cantrips. What about Oku? Oku's got a lot of offense. Oku has offensive. a fire spell, I think. There's fireball. Uh, yeah, but no cantrips. Yeah. Needle darts. Just dropped undead. Attacked magic. Uh, what about the... Uh... Divine lance. Does that do just divine? Okay. Have we found any torches? Focus spells. What, she, what about chill touch? There's a bunch of... Freezing the plants? There's a bunch of wood and webs all over the place. Um... Wait, hold up. We're in that last room. And Do any of us have any eyed? Don't you have an item? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I do not have any eyed. Do we have gas and a torch? I don't have any gas. I do have gunpowder. I have a flint and steel. Um, you know what? We could use the flint and steel to probably, with the help of like just a pinch of gunpowder, light up some of these uh, webs as kindling, and then use these like busted up uh, tables in here to like Bro, start a fire. I have a torch. Oh yeah, then just light the torch, and then we could just. <laughs> Throw it in there, right? That whole thing should just light up if it's just fungus, uh, right? I would say keep the torch. We can light, like I said, we can light the wood in here and then throw that in We there. have a magical fire right next to us. Oh, shit, we do have a magical. I forgot <laughs> that there was a fireplace with a fire in yeah, it. Yeah, you keep your, like, do this, do that. I'm like, we have a magical fire. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I grab some wood and, like, uh, start, uh, I bring some fiery wood in with me uh i Does hold the my fireplace breath. have a back to it yeah it does okay I, oku, I think oku messages you in your mind to just you may want to close the door after you start burning that <laughs> okay uh yes then i will um it's not very far in there um so I would say let's uh, let's pile up some wood inside of there so we really get the fire going and then light it up. So we why would. So would why you don't we me... just throw this thing too? This thing's gonna be dry and burnable. Yeah, let's throw that right in up. there. I mean, it is kind of keeping that door closed. We just start this on fire and then chuck it in there. Yeah, we'll say that. Sherman and Soul spend some time moving some furniture and some like wood and stuff in there. All right, cool. Uh, and then yeah, we just light something in the uh, fireplace and set it off and close the door. All right, cool. As you guys, this are, are like uh, stone walls and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all stone. Only okay, okay, stone. okay. Yep. I was like, we don't need to be certain this whole building on fire. Yeah, you're, you're gonna want that. Wait, to did we for quite some time? We went up over here. Did we um encounter this fungus before? Because uh, it looks like some of this has grown up over here. That's rock, I think. This is rocks. Oh, that's okay. Yep. Yeah. So I yeah, think we... this is what you're supposed to be looking at. This white on the floor. Yeah, we 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 burned the fungus on that couch. All right, cool. And I would say like it probably made some noise and such as you know, you know dragging furniture and just throwing stuff all over the place. Uh, sure. um, and then from the other side of this door, you can hear a, a voice. It's a very faint voice. Hello, Is someone out there. Uh, yeah, we gotta set a room on fire. You're gonna have to wait for a little while. Oh, casual. I've been waiting a very long time already. Could you please? Well, then a few more minutes can you, ain't gonna hurt. 
Can you tell me how to open the door? Do you know how to open the door? Oh, if I knew how to open it, I would have left a very long time ago. Why are Fair you enough. locked in there so judiciously? Like someone very much wanted to make sure you didn't get out. Don't get me started on him! Well, I mean, we, we've we got time, and you've certainly got time. Oof. Yes, that is indeed true. Uh, well, my name is Jeff, uh, Jeff Kim. Jeff Kim. Jafar, gotcha. Chaff Kim. It's, it's oh, spelled, Chaff Kim. Yes, Trash C -H -C -H -C -H -A -F -K -H -E -M, Chaff Kim. Chaff Kim. I used to work That's... for Belcora long, long ago, but. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. Not a great endorsement so far. Everyone I've met that's worked for her, not had a not had a good time. Oh well, that's understandable. Um, but I, anyway, how are I you was, still alive? Oh, I have my ways. Are you undead? Listen, how we've hung you? out with some some undead down here. They've been pretty cool. Well, wait till you get a load of me, young, uh, young, uh, young sir. So what kind of undead are we talking about? You're some kind of monstrosity like the rest of them, aren't you? We met a worm guy. Oh, no, we I'm pretty a... chill. <laughs> we met a ghoul. Um, he was all right. Um, worm guy, not, not, a, not a great person. What? What? Where's the worm? Yeah, he not he, not my favorite. He, he, he's not with us anymore. Yeah, I believe we killed him twice, actually. Second time for good, I believe. Was he on? Cross our fingers. Hey, how does he die twice? Uh, first we blew his worm body apart, and then it seemingly came back together and then we blew his worm body apart again and then we took extra special care to just blow up the rest of the worms oh i thought you were speaking about the uh Sugathi creatures the large centipede like creatures that oh we did fight one of those it had a sword which i thought was strange but no this guy used to be an elf of some sort i believe I look at the picture that we took of him. I, I believe it was like an elf or a drow or something. Oh, oh the drow. Yes, there were a few drow in the service of Belcor, but you must be referring to a... Oh, God, what was his name? What was his name? Arz, Arzern, Arzern, uh, Ar oh, Arzen... Arzen... Uh, Arzen... Oh, Arzen... 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 I never really talked to him much. Uh, How are your current feelings on Belcora? That's what we're curious about. I would be quite pleased to never see this place again. <clears throat> hmm. Tell me, what's your five-year plan? If you were to get out of here. I'd like to travel the world. See the open sky. Hmm. But doing I, what while you're traveling the world? Oh, well, uh, well, I just... I don't know yet. Uh, just to experience my home. I'm from Assyria originally. I'd like to go back to my homeland. Assyria? Assyrian. Oh, he's from... Mm. Okay. Uh, can I make... A uh, society check to see if I know anything about Osirian. That's like the fourth five I've rolled today, and I haven't rolled that many times. We do have an investigator with you. That is also true. He may know a thing or two about this particular topic. Well, what do you know, Namiad? Well, let's see. 
got a plus 12. Oh, just like you. Yes. All right, Assyrian. Uh, it's known as the land of the pharaohs. Um, just kind of like, like it, I would imagine it's kind of like an Egypt-like type of place as far as like the Earth equivalent of the Solarian. All right, land. old man, I'm gonna ask you something, and listen. If it, you you gotta tell me if it's true. That's the law. Are you a mummy? Or mummy adjacent? Are you a big dog? A big dog? No, I got, I'm not a big dog. Are you mummy or mummy adjacent? What is your most striking feature? <laughs> I, I I feel like my uh Fine, fine, yes, a mummy is what I am. <laughs> if I let you out of there, are you gonna try to kill me? Just gonna, gonna lay all my cards us? just gonna lay all my cards on the table here. I am a mummy, I'm covered in bandages, and I'd really like to get out of this tiny ass room. Okay. Here's another question. Do you think you could take me? Where would you like me to take you? Um, uh, I'm just gonna ask, like, all right, listen. If we let you out of there, I'll are take you, you wherever you want. I promise. This. Will you promise to leave us and the town uh, adjacent to this um, tower alone? Like, what town? Um, Otari. How do you traditionally beat a mummy? Do they like the sun? I think they're rather unperturbed by it. The vampires? That's vampires. I that mean, is. you know, Harm, I just simply want to leave this place. Uh, I've been here for God knows how long. Not since yeah, the I'm doing a Belfora. perception check to see if he's on the level. Yeah, can we do an insight? Yeah. Yeah, insight is perception. Yeah, uh, he's quite forthcoming as far as as far as you can tell. I mean, it's it's a little difficult. I mean, just judging by his his voice. Uh, Twenty seven. Um. Does he sound like he's trying to get out because he wants to kill me, or that's what I'm trying to figure out? I'd say. Uh, it's quite believable that he has been stuck inside this room for a long time with it being been magically sealed and pounded in with the, uh, you know, pythons or whatever you call them, but... Uh, All right, gentlemen. So, yeah. Quick powwow. What are we thinking here? Well, he's not gonna be going anywhere. I mean, that's true, but... So, why don't we just clear the rest of the floor? Wait, wait, no! I don't like that Level idea. up come back and then if he sucks he's gonna be a level below us and we'll just explode him right i can give you information <laughs> what kind of information information about the others that dwell here particularly the sugathi and their leader Sugathi. the jackass that sealed me in here I mean, we could use information. You've seen what going in blind does for us. I motion to the giant pile of bones in the other room. I really can't see shit from the other side of this stone. Wall. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, yeah, can I tell? <laughs> I'm, I'm untouchable, man. Listen. Here's the thing, is this door is one of the more closed doors I've ever seen. It may take us a while to get you out, even if we were trying. So we may have to go maybe get some specialist tools or something. So you're going to have to sit tight regardless. I can wait a little while longer if need be. But okay. Um, I... Can I look at the arcane uh, sigils on the door to see if I <clears throat> can tell what I would need to do to um, unlock them? 
Uh, let me take a look here. Boy, I am rolling dog shit today. Just throw a hero point at it. No. Get another 18. Nami, did you roll? Hiya! Here we go. Nami, it is apparently our our resident wizard now. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Um... I mean, his thing is investigation. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's just the guy who studied about the thing he doesn't even need. Because <laughs> it comes in handy in his line of work. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's looking at it. Um, he said, well, these sigils make it more difficult to to break through, but if we had some food, I think we could get it open. Like, like, like a, a crowbar hammer? or something? Crowbar? <clears throat> I almost took a feat where I didn't need the crow I didn't take the uh penalty with for the not having a crowbar. Would have been I nice. didn't take it. It would have been nice. But I took shatter defenses and then realized everything's immune to fear. So I mean you could I mean you could try to smash through it, but it's gonna take a while. Well Hmm. <laughs> I do hope <laughs> Um, yeah, we could go buy a crowbar. I'm sure there's one in town somewhere. Should get a plus one crowbar. Um, is, pl is a plus one per crowbar like an actual thing? I don't know. I mean, you I could hit somebody with a crowbar, right? Like, uh, yeah. You can hit someone with anything. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, so anything could be plus one. <laughs> You can even hit someone with someone else if you really, you know. Yeah, I got a plus one com computer monitor at home. It's pretty nice. Wow. <laughs> you hit somebody with it, it hurt. Um. I don't know. What's these animal heads? That's weird. Um. Yeah, I say. Well, you know what? Do we have any like bludgeoning weapons? I know my weapon does bludgeoning damage, but I don't think it's going to shoot down an entire stone door. Uh, Technically, yes, I do. What kind of bludgeoning weapon do you have? Uh, My wooden ore sword. Okay. On the whole, like, rock, paper, scissors spectrum, I do <laughs> not think that that one's going to work out for us. Well, uh, somebody might have a hammer. You did have a hammer at one point, but I'm pretty sure that's back. I at thought somebody took it. I thought somebody had a silver hammer. Um, check your. Um, I think, I think we sold that, and I put the um, enchantment that it had onto something else for you. That could be true. Um, check your fish camp loot to see if you've got it in there. Oh, I guess I could do that, yeah. Uh, it's under PCs. Fish camp loot. Soul stuff. Nope. I have nope. a... I have a pick, though. I have a plus one pick. That actually might help. We'd have to go all the way back to camp to get it, though. The pick is designed solely for combat. Oh. It's for success. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Well, boners. Um, yeah. Because we all right. Mm. Well, um, we we're, we're gonna have to go find supplies, so it might. Do you take guys us a have while. any? Do you have any spells that could just break stone? No. Nothing. What about Oku? I don't think so. Oku is mostly like spiritual damage and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Lens. She could flens the wall. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know that flensing the wall is going to help a lot. Uh, fireball. Fireball specifically does not do any sort of physical damage. Uh, interstellar spray of stars. Interstellar void. I don't know what these things do. <coughs> touch. Grim tendrils rave enfeeblement. What if she rave enfeeblements the wall? And it, then it's enfeebled. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have to come back. I think this is going to be like a, a project. Okay. 
So he's gonna go it's home, just... or are you gonna go to town and pick up a crowbar? Here's can what I, I think we should I do. Can I at least take one? Guys, there can I go. take one good? <laughs> can I take bad. one good run at it? Just let me take one good run at it, and then we'll go. Okay. I'm invincible, dude. Athletics. <laughs> You just bounce off. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. You'd have to like Let's attack go. this sucker. Hey. <laughs> uh, attack. I let the I let the mummy know like, hey, listen, we'll be back. It's probably gonna take us a while, but you know I, I we'll be beak. back eventually. You've been in here for a while, but so you know, little long is not gonna not gonna. Um, bother you too much. You probably got like a sarcophagus or something in there. Just take a nap. Uh, how's our fire pit looking? Luxurious. How's our uh, what? It is full of smoke. Like, uh, you, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I don't. I don't want to reenact the movie backdraft. So let's leave this one for a little while. All right. So let's go. We'll come back when it's a smolder. Uh, we go into the next room, and I'm just gonna be like. Listen, we're already here. You want to finish like clearing out the floor and then we can take off? Yeah. I want to fight something. Man. <laughs> I'm feeling it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I always get fights in Justin's games. That's what's nice about Justin's games. Uh, it's too many characters to move around. Uh, Just, then... uh,. Just let me and him do our thing, and then we can. F you can I'm just, just move. I'm just gonna us move down here because I like. I'd be careful with map. moving characters. I just wanted to fill I out the map. Do not want to drag them through the wrong rooms, <laughs> like last time. That's what I'm saying. Just like wait, and then because we're probably then... coming back. All right. Do we look at this room? Yeah, we looked at the room. How did yeah, we even get in here? Hilarious. Oh yeah, well, it was like we got in through a secret passage over. We went the wrong way. I think here was a secret passage. Oh, is this down a floor? Or is this down like a half floor? Uh, I'd say it's like half, kind of ha half. It's like a, it's like part of the same level, but it doesn't go for, as far down. Right. Tall ceilings, kind of building. Do you want them? Uh, should we check, check out what's downstairs? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be really upset if that leads us into the arena. But yeah, we can. It. Yeah, looks like it will. But maybe we can find uh -huh. out how to get to like the audience level. Here's the thing. What I am going to suggest is. You got a gun. Just shoot it. Let me stealth my way down the stairs and Fair I will enough. peek around the corner. Chunk, 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 chunk. Okay. So, yes, I'm going to stealth. That's yeah, not bad. 23 is not bad. I'm going to stealth my way up here and then I'm just going to like peek around real quick. Huh. Okay. Um,. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's doors down there. I'm fairly certain that leads down to the um uh down to the arena. You don't want to get a good look at it? Probably looks pretty cool. Listen, we still haven't finished clearing out this floor. We've still got this section up here, which does look like it also leads to the arena, but if there is anything in the arena, we'll have, you know, the high ground on it, which I find personally you know much better position to be in fair enough could at least open the door be my guest um are there torches on Work in the stuff. arena do, 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 do. uh you guys didn't really go over there uh, I would say you did see some sort of illumination over there when you were. Can I open the quite far. door? I don't want to open the door all the way. I just want to peek. 
Too bad you don't but, have your fancy hand gloves. Gloves, yeah, right. Uh, but the problem is, is if I open the door, I'm gonna see everything. Yes. What if I? Okay, I'm gonna stand here. But I'm gonna open this bottom door. I still just want to peek, but this will give me, I think, less of a view. Maybe it'll give me more of a view. I don't know. It depends on which way this room goes. Whatever. I'm peeking. Okay. It's upstairs. You What's upstairs? upstairs? This. Oh, it is upstairs. Area. Okay. Yes. So you're peeking out. I'm peeking out. Yeah. Do yeah, I hear it's anything? A very wide walkway. Very huge cavernous chamber. Um, in fact, I will change my camera view. Mm -mm. You can kind of see the size of this chamber here. Uh, you see six balconies. Um, <laughs> with built-in seating. Um, it's one of those nights. Each one has a bright torch from it. Yeah. which illuminates the whole entire arena while leaving uh, just your viewing level shrouded in, in shadows. Uh, but it seems to be an enormous metal gong that you're kind of peeking over um, from your mm. current vantage point on the eastern end of the chamber that just hangs on very thick chains. Well, uh, if I didn't hear anything, Soul would probably kind of like creep in. Yeah, there's two very steep staircases lead down from the central balcony on the north side of the Rita floor. Please roll me a perception check. I did. 23. You both did. No, 23. Okay, I didn't see that. Um, so here's my thoughts on this whole what you arena see. thing. That whole room screams boss fight. It does. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. It screams, <laughs> I need to put a creature with many squares with a two by two kind of creature, you know? Yeah, no, you do kind of hear a. <laughs> okay. I gotta take well, a something's... Look. <laughs> something's in there. <sighs> well, it does sound particularly large. Here's the thing. Something and I think big. You would have gotten a decent look at it because you are up high above this thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So pop that door open quick again. I'll give you a good look at what you see. All right. Yeah. It sounds like there's many breaths at once. Is it like a see this or something? Huge. Jibbery mother huge mass yes, of man. flesh and bones uh, sitting in the middle of the arena and it looks a bit like this was it some kind of bone hydra There's a huge mass of flesh and bone. And you've seen this kind of thing before. You fought the uh, Shangri Gulls earlier that were in the cells um, that kind of sprained to life as soon as you entered them to try and get the valuables that were in there. Uh, but this one's an entirely different level where that was just like a medium creature. This one is considerably larger. It is a gargantuan sized Shanvigal. But it it appears to be sleeping. Hmm. That could be enough XP. I mean, yes, it could be. I would hate to get one of our friend's characters killed when they're not here. <laughs> when they're not here, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, um, I do want to fight this thing. I'm only down a single spell slot at the moment, uh, and one that wouldn't have been especially useful against this thing. Mm. Um, 
my issue. I want to ask I... Namiad what he the... remembers about the Shangri Gulls and if we remembered if they had any weaknesses or anything. All right. Yeah, we could do certain things before if it's asleep, right? And like. Yeah, if you remember right, they were. Uh... We trying to figure out if they were aberrations or dead. Turns out they're both. Um, do I remember aberrations are weak to oh, so uh, silver, silver didn't correct? Do very much. The silver mm -hmm. sword didn't do do much. Soul's sword didn't do. My Soul's ghost touch sword. Sword didn't do much. No. Um, because they're probably them being like goo and bones are probably like strong oh, yeah, yeah. against like slashing. Ooze. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We. Um. <clears throat> mm. But that's the problem is I can't really do anything in these fights. Here's the thing. I do have something with me that might make your swords a little bit more helpful. I think it can only go on one sword at a time, though. I was going to put them on mine, but my weapons already do bludgeoning, which if they are skeletons, they may be weak against. Were they? Did they seem like they took um, especially more damage from my bullets being bludgeoning? Yeah. Yeah. So, do I. Um, would I know if. Uh, I suppose I can make a an arcana check about this. Would I know about. Um, ooh, that's a good one. Uh, them being. They're undead and also. Um, what was it? Aberration. Aberrations. So, would I know if. I think we've fought some aberrations before. Are they weak to silver? No, you don't recall that having been. Shit, I might be thinking of um, like outsiders, like uh, devils and stuff, because we fought some of those as well. Yeah, yeah, devils. That's a devil thing. Yep, devils and uh, lycanthropes. Yes. So my silver sheen would not especially help in this case. Hmm. Um Does piercing damage do anything to these guys cuz we could go find that pick. I can do I piercing. Try doing a lot of piercing damage. I don't think there's most slash. I can stuff. I can do I can do slashing or piercing with yeah, the swords. Yeah, his weapon is versatile so it does both, whichever one is better. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Oh, God. What have they been feeding that thing? I think we're in a pretty good place to try and take this thing on. Uh, the only thing I think that might be an issue is uh, Oku is down two of his third level spells. Mm. But I've got... Uh, I'm down only a f second level spell slot. Or, yeah. I'm down one second level spell slot. I've got two third level spell slots. Well, we can teleport now to the top. That that is true. So we could try and like stay up on the top here, and if things, we have a quick save now, yeah, if things go absolutely sideways, we can fucking book it to the teleport circle. Yeah, I don't think we want to go down there with it. Yeah, I, but I think we will re recharge Oku. I have a bow. Oh. I don't know how good a damage it does, but I do have a bow. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to be taking this thing on, um... Well, let's we'll see what a nat 20 bow It would, would have do. deadly d10. 
Yeah, that's not the worst. I'm not attacking not anything. I'm just seeing. I'm just getting a feel for the bow. Um, perfect shot. That's what I'm doing right now. Hmm. I don't know. We need a good plan of attack. Yes. If would How we could always leave. Could we research? Long could long. we research these? Would there be a place that we could research this and then? Gonna get an exact idea of what to do against it. Uh, there's a library in town. Uh, full of clerics. Uh, and you're also inside of the Abomination Vaults, where a lot of research and experiments have been done. Uh, About undead, yeah. Undead aberration. There is a library, like a like a floor or two up, isn't there? On the third floor, yep. Yeah. I have Belcora's journal. Does that have anything about these in it? Uh here's another quick question. Um with a knowledge engineering check. Fuck. What are you uh how well secured is that gong? Uh it looks to be secured with uh Chain, uh, thick, thick metal chain. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. Does fireball melt steel beams? No, no, it does not. Fireball yeah. can't melt steel beams. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Jet fuel can't melt stale memes. Um. We can probably break. Uh, is it held on? What, what's holding it to? What's the I'm, final hold point? I'm guessing chains? the chains are like, um, like hooked into the gong itself and like probably embedded into the concrete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stone shape. You know, know, if one of us could cast it, that would be a good idea. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I am and one. And if one of us with, could cast fourth level spells, I am one with the dwarves. And it is cube of stone, <clears throat> ten feet across or smaller. So yeah, we'd have to actually cast it twice. Mm. Well. Well, we could research these, figure out what their weakness is. Maybe there's something we could figure out from there. Is Nami there a way? It's quite knowledgeable about these types of things. Okay. Do we know there? He has a plus 14 to undead lore. We'd give him. Um, uh, yeah. 21. Well, I mean, they're undead, so I think that's our biggest opportunity. By yes. Time, damage of any kind would be ID. Um. I mean, it sure as hell worked the first time we did it. What did? Oku spells. Yeah, he did do. Uh, they did do a pretty good job of particularly searing light. Uh, that that's one works. of those third level spells that he's only got one left of, though. Um, it doesn't. Well, actually, there may be one last place for us to explore. It does look like maybe there's something over here that we haven't taken a look at yet. Do you want to go check mm. over here and see if there's something else that we can clear out before we leave for the day? Because if we're going to get into a boss fight, I would like, especially with an undead, I would like Oku to have their most powerful shit 
like locked and loaded, you know? Yeah, this thing's huge. This is so we could always go back. Yeah, I can hear the boss music in that arena from here. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe somebody will look. Bum, bum. So that maybe there's a clip. It looks to be like down to like you would imagine where floor six would be. Like, uh, that makes with sense. With how low it is. So maybe there's a cleric with a uh, holy sword I can borrow. Mm. Well, we kind of did get a holy sword and they did let you borrow it. Oh, I do have that one sword. What is that? Cooperative blade. Uh, yeah, li- the Rosa Argent- Argentis is the uh, official name. It lives. It lets you give the help action, like for uh, like cheaper or something, or it's it gives you a bonus. Good. Yeah, on giving the help action. The cooperative is that in your bag at the moment? No, I don't have it. it might Somebody's be in somebody else's it. loot. Oh, it might actually be in the... I have a glaive. Cart? Uh, I was going to say it might be in the bag of holding. Let me take a look here. Lantern of empty light. Um, Did it get sold or something? Blade. This plus one striking long sword has a mirror-like blade that uh, while wielding it, you gain a plus two item bonus uh, to checks to aid. Uh, So aid, you try to help your ally with a task. Uh, To use this reaction, you must first prepare to help, blah, 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 by using an action during your turn. So you'd have to spend one action to aid a friend. Uh, When you use your aid reaction, attempt a skill check or an attack roll of a type decided by the GM. The typical DC is 20, but the GM might adjust this DC for particularly hard or easy tasks. So... Yeah, but the only thing I'm an expert in is swords, so the only thing I'd be able to aid in is It says that you can do an attack roll. I know, but it's just kind of like... You guys are rarely using swords. So it's like such a niche... Well, actually, in this instance where maybe your swords aren't going to do as much with them, uh, you could give me. Are uh, if you're, are you an expert with swords? Yes. So you could grant me a plus three circumstance no, bonus. I'm a master. Um, I, I guess I'm an expert. Oh yeah, I'm an expert in a few things. So it is expert. Yeah, if you're an expert with the skill or attack roll you're using to aid oh, yeah, and I'm critically an expert succeed, in intimidation. You grant your ally a plus three circumstance hurt. bonus to the triggering Thanks. check instead of a plus two bonus. And you hit yeah, crits so I guess all the I'm time. An expert. I'm a master in swords. You um, hit crits all the time, so I just don't know. It's just such Well, I guess yeah, the DC it... is twenty, so you'd have to hit at least a thirty. I miss out on a lot of other things though if I'm wielding that sword. My attacks are much harder. And yeah, I suppose I'm, I'm that's the problem. Are you an on. expert in just katanas or is it all swords? It's all swords and simple and martial swords. Yeah, so you would have just as good of a chance to hit with that thing as you would with, um, yeah, but I miss out on damage, is the issue. Yeah, but I mean, the only and thing the I would say is if, is if you're, um, well, you can you can two hit, you can dual wield with that weapon, can't you? I don't think so. Cooperative blade is. It's a long sword. Oh, it's a long sword. I think long swords two handed only. Um, maybe can I be just one hand in a long sword and another sword? That seems crazy. Um, I guess technically a katana is a long sword, though, right? Yeah. Well, I guess so. 
I don't know if you can dual wield long swords. Oh no, it would have to be like a light or finesse weapon. So I think. Oh. So yes. Uh, and the only trait this one has is versatile piercing. Yep. This is a bad sword. It is not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like you just miss out on a lot of other things that the katana gives because I get to like two hand. I get a d10 for reeling it two handed. That's the big thing. Yeah. Plus, uh, doesn't the katana also have um, deadly? D10 or something? Deadly D10? Deadly D8. So it's a two-handed D10, and so I get D10s and Deadly D8, and I crit like a motherfucker with that thing. So Yeah, that's fair. Alright. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is fine. Uh, anyways, let's go to the West End and see if there's anything that we can um, clear out over there. How's about that? Okay. I got a piece so bad, man. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I'll blaze the trail on this one. Do, do, do. Uh, you know what? It's been a while. Can I check uh, our fire up here to see how it's doing? Sure. It's probably coming up on noon at this point. Yeah. Uh, does it look like the fire's out at this point? I have After a lot I... of smoke in there, and Oku's <laughs> saying, no, 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 no. Wait. <laughs> Don't, don't, okay, not, don't breathe not, the smoke. Not, not today. Not today. Okay. I closed the door. <laughs> you made it worse by burning it. Just just let it... <laughs> hey, that sounds like something we do. <laughs> if you're looking to make something worse, you can count on us. I say we forget about that room from here on out. That's kind of what Oku said. <laughs> Okay, All right. 20, uh, Nature check. Yeah. No, oh, we don't want those spores uh, spreading to the rest of the floors. Where the hell did you go? Oh, you're way up there. Okay. Jeez. I got some... Uh... Got some schmoovin' to do. Yeah, indeed. Hold on. <laughs> I can have a better idea. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we've seen all of the rooms at the moment. I'm just careful because something always happens, you know. I was going to say, are you just like cutting and pasting? No, just drag a new tokens to the field here and delete the other ones. Done deal. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you have to unpause, though. Yes. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Is there, like, a wall here or something? Uh, so you guys are on, like, an elevated area. So it's kind of like a... Like an overpass type thing that you're on. Uh, oh, it we'll, just won't we, let we us move see, our like, tokens. We can't move our tokens to see issue. Oh, I'm sorry. One moment here. I need to flip the doors open and closed here, and boom, boom. There we go. Now you can move oh. through. So yeah, we have some doors here, and we have some doors down here. What do the doors over here look like? They look like doors. what's is this? this like a gate or something <laughs> all right hold on too many rooms <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> all right so it looks like a it's like a gate it's a porkless um Yeah, that's kind of what you've got in front of you there. So can we even reach the doors? Mm. 
Is it like a locked gate? Yeah, it's a... Mm -hmm. Let me see here. I'm trying to find the correct uh, journal note here that will give me more information about that. I'll just like cut an X and then it'll explode. All right, calm down there, <laughs> Zoro. <laughs> or Jigen. Or Wolverine. <laughs> or anybody who's ever had a blade ever. <laughs> All right. I'm just There's always a point where the... Jigen always did that thing so that they didn't have to animate stuff. Where it would just show him, like, unsheathing the blade a little bit. And then the screen would just flash. And then it would just be like... And then the thing would pop apart. And then he would literally just take the That's thing just and lazy just... lazy animation. That's what that is. I mean, and yes, then... but it, was it lazy? Yes. Was it also cool as fuck? Absolutely. <laughs> All he did was just take a line, cut it through his picture, and slide them two different directions. Yeah. Man, <laughs> the fucking Lupin show was great. Yeah, but you got a portcullis there. A portcullis, uh... Portcullis. Why does it sound weird? I don't know Portcullis. what that is. That's like gotta a big hit that gate. P really hard. Portcullis. Portcullis. Yes. It's uh, a gate. It's a gate. It's a big gate, okay. and it's in your way. What are you gonna do about it? You're the muscle I'm... man. You fucking do something. You're the lockpick guy. Why don't you open it? Well, if so, it was locked, I would try and do something. It's but like the... one of those gates that just. Like drop drop down to the to the ground. Oh, I can uh, just lift it, it up. Yeah, possibly. Uh um, try. <clears throat> can I get hernias in Tui? Do an athletics check to pop that thing open. There's like rooms next to me, there's little peepholes. Yeah, it looks like arrow slits. You know that being a fighter. I'm gonna get hit by what arrows when I open this you... thing. Roll, uh, Can I roll perception? Lore. I do have warfare lore. I never get to use it. I didn't even yeah. roll that. No, I just wanted to see what would have been. I was just curious. Yeah, warfare lore. That I think that would have been. I mean, um, what am I looking Calis, for? This is a defending area. Um, you have uh athletics all right so you're just gonna go i'm gonna try to pick it up you're you're able to lift it up just ever so slightly but it's really fucking heavy and then oh uh, you just couldn't quite get it open um, i'm going to i'm going to walk nami towards had, sherman think, and gesture towards the door <laughs> i think nami had to try to help you out um with an athletics check as well. I was going to say, yeah, what do you want me to do with my zero strength? Give it Although a shot. Although Nami has also got zero strength. Yeah. He'd try. All right, what's the DC usually to get a bonus? I think 20. 15, 20. I think. Okay. Yeah. I'm Either way, he didn't shit. make it. Hmm. What's Oku's strength? Oh, right, plus one. She is far more athletic than either Sherman or uh, Namia. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Hiya! No. <laughs> Sherman does that thing where he just kind of like leans down and he sort of mimes like he's lifting really hard. He's just like. Ugh. Oh, oh, it's so heavy. Uh, uh. Whew, boy. It moves a little bit because Soul's trying to lift it, and you're just like, oh, <laughs> I'm doing say, it. Can she turn into a small creature and just, like, move past it? Yeah, I'd say you were able to lift it up just enough for her to sneak under. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> But now there's two doors and completely isolated. So um, I don't know if that's um, the situation Oku would want to be in. For sure. 
Um, is there like a mechanism or something? I mean, there it's might be. It's if probably in one, these it's, rooms. Yeah. Other well, otherwise, it's probably down here somewhere. Well, how do you get in there? Secret room in here. Room goes this way. Um, I don't know to what end. You probably get in. Oh my god, this map's huge, dude. Hey, actually. Um. Mm -mm. Let me see here. Can we prop it up somehow? I would like to use my knowledge uh my engineering lore skill mm -hmm. 20 uh -huh. not bad there's a cart over here right um a cart uh, yeah yeah right there yeah i want to use uh the concept of leverage leader <laughs> just take the handles stick it under uh inside of like a couple of the loops push down on one side let the leverage uh, give us a bonus to to lifting it. All right. Yeah. Cool. I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd say your DC is. Do we go to? Uh, so give it give open. it a try. I'll uh, okay. I'll try and give you. Me and Nami can probably both push down on the cart together. So I will give you the help action. Hopefully. Uh, I we'll, we can probably both try. Okay. Fuck no, it. I'm not helping. Hey, eighteen. And athletics. Twenty one. Okay. Even still, with a card. Can I give him? Can I give Soul my hero point? <laughs> uh, nope. They are non-transferable. God damn it. It worked once. Did I let you do that before? You let me do it one time. Uh, I think it was to save somebody's life, though. Um. You know what? Um. Over here, we also have some uh loose chains can we use these to like loop around and then um kind of pull up with those instead of using the instead of you know trying to get a grip just on the um uh uh thing itself um i'm Ooh, actually, you know what? We could probably loop the chain around this. Um, Can you disable device? Can you just break it? Uh, no, I think the only thing that we can do here is muscle our way out of it. Yeah, can I uh, loop the chain around this little sconce here and try and create uh -huh. sort of like a pulley thing? Yeah, you got wheels yeah. even. Uh, yeah, you can see the that cart. there is a uh, an actual loose chain up there. You scroll down. No, it's uh, up here by the kitchen. Just I'm pinging it. Oh yeah, this chains. Oh, there's lots of chains. I mean, remember just north of you, there was the We've chain, chain, lady. chain. Oh lady. yeah. Uh, so you you definitely got some tools with you to. Yes. Uh, let's see if I can fucking MacGyver something together. Hell yeah, I can. Definitely. I'm MacGyver the shit out of that thing. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm I'm putting together a crude pulley system. Um, all right, let's give it one more try. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm like, God damn it, fuck. <laughs> all right, I'm going to. I literally face Uh, I'm going to use my hero point so as to not actively hinder them. <laughs> Because I right. figure with a nat one, that would probably. 
Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Skill issue. Same thing happened to you earlier! Dang, <laughs> dude. It's too heavy. We just can't do it. Should we just pay we someone to come down here and lift this fucking thing for us? <laughs> well, there's another person who could help you. Yeah, it's well, fart. yeah, well, we can't get into him. That's the that's the issue at the moment. We'd still yeah. have to leave. No, I mean, you did get a 25. Uh, I'd say... Um, I got a 27 before. I got a damn near 30 on my engineering check. Yeah, no, like your engineering check was really well. I'd say you'd be able to lift it up well enough and then like lock it in uh, with whatever mechanism you you could crawl underneath it. Um, and it's not super, super sturdy uh, with how heavy it is and how you didn't get it quite as far as you wanted to. to get it <laughs> That there, square is definitely difficult terrain though. It is very difficult to frame. You could, uh, we could we could have taken like a rock or something and just get underneath there. Yeah. Uh yeah. There is like rubble sitting around. We could throw something underneath there. Sure. Yeah. Just some somebody could have just slid it under and Sure. Um yeah. I'd say you guys are probably at this for like an hour. It uh, might still be like janky, oh, but Oh my son. Uh we might have to do sad. like a squeeze check. No, I would just army crawl underneath. Um, yeah. Okay. You can you can you can make it through. Justin, you should do a luck roll and see if it crushes behind us and now we can't go back. That would be depressing. Please don't do that. <laughs> you think I'd be that devious? I would be yes. so sad. <laughs> Literally, the Pathfinder handbook would be like, it says that you have to roll this thing to see if they make it under. If they do the specific thing, I feel like they would. Is it is it a DC we're, 30 we're not, to get uh, to lift that thing? Yes, that is the magic number. It's a DC God, 30. God, I knew it. Yeah, That's insane. We're so close on that first check. But too. I've, I've dropped that to get DC six... significantly with all of the, you know, MacGyver shit you guys been doing. Yeah, I was um, like, I had to get a 16 or higher. Yeah. It's insane. All right, I'm gonna open in the store. Yeah, we did all this work. chance. Oh, I guess I'll open my door as well. A room. Right. Surprising. So what you see is a central octagonal room with a whole bunch of doors, um, flanked on the north and south by single iron doors, each with a narrow viewing port archery slit. Uh, the stone doubled. Well, you probably wouldn't see much about the the doors themselves. Um. Huh. Because let's see here. As you open the door, you do see a shadowy figure standing in the middle of the room. Lovely. Do I even hesitate? That's the question. And her She's looking right, right towards you when you guys walk in. Obviously, you guys are making a considerable amount of noise with your your project there. Um, but uh, so she she seems to have like this very wispy form here. And as soon as the the doors open, uh, Namiad's like I don't know. He, he's got his his tingle feeling immediately starts uh, going off and. Uh, um, She's she's look looking down as uh, you guys open the doors. So she her head slowly goes up. She's got a wide brimmed hat, and um, she just slowly draws her sword. She looks like, whoa, like this. whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no, Jesus. no, that a link need to to jump straight to violence. Uh... I like your hat. I know. <laughs> I did I'm gonna hat. roll really quick. I'm gonna can I Undead Lord. Does I'm rolling does she mean business? 
she has her sword drawn. And uh, Namia is like, yeah. Um, that's a fucking shadow. Uh, I'll shoot. I shouldn't have done that. As I should have made one of his actions for combat. But we'll do that next because roll for initiative. <clears throat> Can I use um diplomacy for my initiative since I was complimenting her hat. Of course. <laughs> Your diplomacy. <laughs> uh, Maybe it'd make her... Uh... I don't think it's going to be super effective in this situation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you insisted on diplomacy, I'd probably have to give you negatives to it. But yeah, just straight up perception. <laughs> That's going to be the way to go here. All right. Uh, so we got... It really sucks Shinzo. that Ghost Touch does not work on ranged weapons. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. It does. It specifically Would we does have been kind of shoved in because we were trying to get through this thing? I don't know. All right, let's go. I got a 33. Oh, I like that the creature thing is a different color. Uh, well, the ghost touch rune doesn't work on weapons, but we look here. Dang. What thing's a different color? The, the creature. Oh, the text box. Yeah, it comes up different in the Oh, yeah, the yeah, feed. that's new. I do like that. That is pretty neat. Let's roll. The and it, it's a little more scary when it's rolling. Which it's going to be. Yes. Oh, where did our battle music go? You hear something? Uh, I don't hear any. I don't hear anything. Yep. Music's it's usually the first thing to get broken and stuff. So That's too bad. Well, I'll just try again. What the hell, dude? Go. You might as well select her now. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Uh, let's see what she's got in her arsenal here. <laughs> I like that it shows you who, who people are targeting. Too bad I'm colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> right okay uh, she's going to take like, a ready position And I would already have my sword drawn too, so yeah, sure. Um, and let's see here, that will be that will be her turn. What did she do? She just kind of took a pose. Uh, with her sword. Um, oh my god. That's not good. <laughs> if it takes two turns, that's not good. Um, so it's my turn. Is what you're saying? That's all she does? Oh, wait a second. I think I read this wrong. Yep, nope, that is a thing I did. Yes. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> is it a parry? Be bad. Uh, 
Okay. Is it my turn then? If you wanted to roll a knowledge check about that, you certainly could. I can. The warfare lore. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you see, like, the, the stance that she's taken seems to be uh, one that would enable her to strike you with extra precision uh, and her ability to like counter you. you you'd say that this looks very similar to how you've seen Nami in fight <gasps> oh <laughs> interesting okay so she can, can like pick rolls or something Doesn't matter to you, just fucking attack her from there. Yeah, might as well use lunge. You do have lunge, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Twenty eight hits. A twenty eight does hit. Seventeen, 17 damage. Weapon. Seventeen points of damage. All right. <clears throat> okay. And then I will do it again. All right, that's another hit. Damage. Thirteen points of damage. So I've done thirty, and then you think I could intimidate this thing, guys? Go for it. Uh, it does seem like it is very dead. I'm going to guess no. Yeah, we'll give it a try. It'll give us. We'll know more, right? Uh, you. You know what? Fair. Um. And then I'll you I'll do uh, intimidate intimidating glare. I did just damage it twice, so. All right, it seems to step back as you like. It, it was opening. It seems like, from what you could tell, I said he was hoping to really like counter you, but you really took it by surprise. Um, <laughs> he took the wind from its sails. <laughs> yeah, um, it stood there with such confidence before. Um, but but now it, it seems to be like, I don't know, it, it footwork seems to be a bit off from a moment ago. Um, and it is indeed Frightened One. Yes! Now we can hit her with the Wombo Combo. That ain't Falco! That ain't Falco! <laughs> Me and Oku have a Wombo Combo. With fear. I think it's only fright until the beginning of my turn. Is that how that works? Yeah. How's this thing looking after getting hit twice with a ghost touch weapon? Not so good. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's now it's Oku. Oku's turn. All right, what's Oku going to do here? I think... Kind of built around doing, like, uh... Uh... Focus spells. Although I don't know if any of these are necessarily... Well, could blow, uh... Searing Light at it. Um... I mean, unless we think we're going to come across, well, hmm. Let's do a Divine Lance, I think. Okay. That sounds good. Two actions, and then have her do a Intimidating Glare, too. Let's see if we can get this thing to frighten, too. 
All right, let's go for it. Uh, I think I was target at first. There we go. Uh, it doesn't stack like that. You just take the, the highest value. It just lasts longer. Oh, whiff. That is a 22, so that is not going to hit. Dang, dude. It's two actions, too. Injured is uh, 50%, right? Uh, Barely injured. Oku is injured. going to instead do... Another one. Uh, Vision of Weakness. Um, I should have done that initially. But that's okay. So focus the gaze on a creature and gain a flash of divine insight into its nature. If the creature has any weaknesses, you learn them as well as which of its three saving throw modifiers is lowest. You also start an inherent understanding of its movements and gain a plus two status bonus to your next attack roll. Or skill check made as part of an attack action. Okay. So, uh, which of the three saving throws is the lowest? And that is going to be Fortitude. 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 Hmm. Huh. And any weaknesses? There are no weaknesses. And that's Oku's turn. What's Sherman doing? Shit. Um. Do a blammy pow pow. She's already injured, so I don't know that I want to blow my scroll of ghostly weapon. Because it's a third level spell. Um. I don't suppose she's wearing metal armor, is she? He's a shadow. Shadow? You, listen, metal has shadows. Metal, in her case, uh, metal is shadow. <laughs> a shadow isn't metal. Sword, sword is shadow, and <laughs> sh shadow is also shadow. The shadow cast by the metal armor isn't fine um i will go ahead and um make a strike against her i'll do a big shoot what? of course it's loaded i loaded it earlier right, whatever <laughs> what reloads there's with dueling pistol rounds did whatever update you do break the loading mechanic? Uh, maybe. I mean, we can work around that too if need be. Um, uh, yeah. Let me see here. Oh, I think they did maybe do some different macros. Uh, he can he may just have to like, read import that. Up. Just search in the oh. compendium reload. Um, uh, journal, rollable tables, card stacks, range combat packs. macros. Um, reload ability, you range combat access. macro. Okay, sometimes so I'll go ahead and access the macro. Um, or if I hit it. All right, let me try and it's still you, you keep hitting it. Not I see that. Oh, I cannot overwrite because my hot bar is locked. Okay, there we go. Now let's try. Okay. Ah. Well, how's about this? I will just roll a d20 plus 15. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> That's annoying. All right, 18 <laughs> is gonna miss. Do it again. Oh, you can't do it again, can you? I can't. It's not, Is it going to critically miss? No. Okay. 
Well, then my shocking grasp still hits. So... 17 spell, damage. With a range what? of touch? As a range of touch? It did not touch her? Uh, yes. This is, um... Uh, let me see here. Um, I'd have to... Let me bring up the PDF for this. For your archetype? Or whatever yes, you for it. my archetype. Um, it it's should... like even if he misses, he can... Yeah, Still unless it's a the... critical miss, I think. Um, hybrid studies. Okay. Uh, you can instead spell shell is it? Uh, when you spell strike with a spell shell, the weapon can be fired even if it was not loaded, as the ammunition is provided as part of the cast spell activity. Blah blah blah. Um. Um. Uh. I swear that was in here somewhere, but you know what? We'll just say I lost it. It's fine. Okay. I lost the spell. All right, so that was two actions. That was two actions, and then I'll reload, but I can't do that, so fuck. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll have to look at your... Do we have to assign? No, it's it's assigned. Weird. What if I toggle it, maybe? To no ammo, and then put in ammo. Oh. I don't know. It works for a lot of things on the computer. When I'm fixing people's computers to turn off and on again. <laughs> but whatever. All right. Uh, and at that moment, as your shot rings very loudly and it echoes through the hallways, you suddenly hear this very distant but very loud uh sound coming from the arena woke the thing up should we just fucking run and we'll see you I don't next think time we can. oh my god <laughs> i can't believe i fucking missed this thing see you next time everybody thanks for joining us we'll see if they can uh get away from this Rock in a hard place they tell you found themselves in. I rolled well for like two weeks and now I'm back to not being able to fucking roll above a ten. Yeah, it happens. It's because for two weeks we were doing non combat. Oh Christ, I hate this game. That's a spirit. <laughs>